some breakfast here. This view and this fire, this can never get old. Okay, we just ate. I was gonna just do like a get ready with me, but then I just had this like weird idea to do my husband chooses my makeup real fast. So like you choose the makeup and I put it on. How about that? You like that? Genius. I'm still sleepy. All right, the breakfast table is gone. Turned into a makeup table now. So we are in London with Bare Minerals and we stayed in London for like two nights and then we came to this, the countryside of London for a night and this is- Where is it? We leave um, today. Well, I don't know if we're supposed to say. They're like not, we're not allowed to like say. What? Um, yeah, it's Soho House. Okay, whatever. Soho farmhouse. It's a really cute little farmhouse. You wanna do it? Okay, let's get into it. <gasps> I know, I'm talking too much. Okay, choose my foundation. I only have two options here for you, buddy. I've got okay. the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, and then I've got the Bare Minerals. Go with the Bare Minerals. So I'll have him choose everything now because he has no patience. He might like leave halfway through. Um, he wants to go to yoga. Okay, so this is the only concealer I brought. So Actually, am I lying to you? Hold on. I have the Tarte Shape Tape too. Is that still what you want? No, let's go in with the NARS Creamy Concealer and Custard, medium one. Okay. Okay, but don't do anything revolutionary here. I've got a La Mer one, which is itches. <laughs> wow, my accent sucks. Itches? I <laughs> don't use it if it itches. <laughs> And I've got a KKW Beauty one. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. Bronzer, I've got two options for you, darling. I've got the Baked Bronzer by Milk Makeup, yeah, which like my audience milk. is really sick Let's and tired of milk. hearing. Please don't talk over me, thank you. Then I've got the Chanel one, which is a Baked Powder one. Which one would you like me to use, darling? Can I speak now? <laughs> yes. Milk. Two blushes here, Bare Minerals or Flesh. Can I see the colors? Because sure. I'm not just picking off the brand. I honestly think they look very similar. Okay, let's go with Flesh. Okay, I only have one highlighter because that's how I roll. Persona Cosmetics Zuma. Zuma. So, okay, let's that. just put that mm -hmm. there. Then. I need an eyeshadow. The Bare Minerals Rose. Because I used this yesterday, I'm hoping you don't choose this, but it's up to you at the end of the day. Okay. And then I have this Natasha Denona Mini Palette, which is so pretty and like... So different and cute. Persona Cosmetics in copper. Persona co oh, look at that. What do you and then know? I have Persona Cosmetics in pink. Now, can I tell you what I'm wearing so you don't make me look like a complete clown? You can wear a pink sweater. I'm wearing a pink sweater, so please don't choose like blue or orange or whatever. You want to see the breakfast table? No, stop it. See that oatmeal? That oatmeal was good. <laughs> <laughs> Bare Minerals, Jen Nude. For mascara, I have two options for you. I have the Lancome one and I have the NARS one. You already Lancome. know my- I was gonna say, you already know my favorite, so pick that one. I heard the NARS one is tripping, so it's yoga time. Okay, so I think for the lips, that my lipsticks are all over the place, so I'll just do a balm for now. Are you really going to yoga? Yeah. You know, Gosh, yeah. when I grow up, I want to be just like you. Careless, free-spirited. What do you want me to do? Nothing. You want me to go hunting for you for dinner? <laughs> God, what's wrong with you? Okay, I'm gonna go in with my foundation, the Bare Minerals Original. This is, again, a little bit dark on me. This is medium tan. I'm probably more of a medium. So I'm gonna use this more to, like, bronze my skin. Fun fact, this foundation was actually the first foundation that I used and got started on. Another fun fact, I don't have a mirror in front of me, so I'm gonna have to use my viewfinder and like little mirrors like this because this hotel doesn't have like a mirror. Although it has the best lighting. I know I look a bit crazy right now, but bear with me. So going in with the concealer, and this is gonna neutralize everything because it is a lot lighter than the foundation. You know, whenever I travel, one of the things I like to do is this basically get ready if the lighting's good and kind of record it because i feel like it's so real time and it's all like the things that i pack with me which is usually all of my favorites right and so i was thinking we should probably come up with a name for it and make it a series or something i mean i don't travel that often but whenever i do it could be a fun thing that i can do when the lighting's good we can call this um Travel makeup diaries, I don't know. If you have any cool ideas for names, let me know. I'm just gonna set my under eyes. This is gonna be like a long chatty video. I remember when I first got this foundation, I ordered it on QVC. I was one of those people that would just watch everything and always end up ordering. My dad actually ended up ordering my mom a necklace off of QVC once. You know, do you guys remember when it was like four payments of $39.99 or whatever it was? Uh, that was cute. So I got a comment yesterday on stories because I mean obviously when we travel I try to share as much as possible on stories because it's live and it's what's happening right then and there 
And I got this interesting DM, which I don't know, I wanted to kind of address and like talk about. Okay, my husband just made a mess of this place and then left. Um, so this this girl was basically saying, but she was like, can you share some of the struggles that you've had? Because, you know, basically like all I see is like the glamour side, but I'm sure you've had struggles getting here. And of course, like literally everyone has struggles in their career choices, whatever that may be. When I made that video about the struggles of an immigrant, I thought that was really cool because a lot of people could relate to it. And I thought, well, yeah, I can share a few more struggles that I've had in terms of like my career because that was more of like a personal thing, you know, getting used to a new country and a new language and all of that. So yesterday when we got that DM, we were actually in bed and KB and I were just talking about it. And he was like, do you remember when you first you know, started YouTube, because when I met him, I already had like around 5,000 subscribers. But I mean, I wasn't making any money or anything. I basically had to invest and buy everything myself. I would work on weekends as a makeup artist. I had a lot of bridal clients and stuff like that. And then during the week, I would work for my brother's insurance agency any spare time i had is when i would film so i really didn't have a social life and i kind of talked about this in that other video but one of the things i remember was just being so frustrated with where i was because i knew like when i was at the office at the insurance agency like i know that I, my heart wasn't full like i didn't love that industry at all but at the same time i was like am i going to be doing makeup for the rest of my life and at the time like i remember was basically made a comment which kind of rubbed me the wrong way but she was just like this isn't a career makeup isn't a career for a woman because then when you have a family like what are you gonna do like work every weekend and i thought to myself what you know moms work all the time granted i was so young at the time like i did not think about kids i was like lady let me figure out my situation first but i just remember like hearing all this noise and like from people even saying that's makeup is not a career like what are you gonna do for the rest of your life just stand on your feet for eight hours or ten hours and do somebody else's makeup and i remember just feeling so annoyed but like at the same time i was like well maybe they're right maybe they want what's best for me and so i started looking for other jobs and i remember going on interviews because uh because i knew the insurance industry pretty well i had like my licenses i thought maybe i can go into like the bigger health insurance industry which my friend was in i just dropped the palette because i'm clumsy like that my friend like set me up for an interview and i went and i remember i didn't tell kb because we were kind of new at the time maybe we were dating for about four to six months around there and i remember i just didn't tell him and then i think he had like a feeling or something it was so strange but he texted me and he was at work at the time did aerospace engineering in san diego and i was in la so it was a long distance relationship so he texted me and he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh God, I can't lie, you know? And I, I said, well, I'm here at this like job interview. And he was like, job interview? What do you, when do you have time to get another job? Like you, I was so busy at the time. And I thought, well, I don't know. I don't know if this makeup thing is like for a forever thing, you know? Like, I just don't know. I'm having second thoughts about it. And he was like, well, I thought you loved it. And I was like, yeah, I really want to. I wish it was that easy but at the same time like i still have to work all these other jobs to be able to do youtube and i didn't like spend too much money in the beginning and my first camera was a t3i my brother actually bought it for me shout out hope my lights and stuff i bought from amazon and i think i spent like a, a total of like 200 dollars or something like that but like little things you know like going to namies and spending hundreds of dollars on makeup because i didn't get free makeup at the time you know like it was expensive and i couldn't use the same exact makeup on camera because people would get bored so it was getting a little expensive i don't know i just wasn't sure i was doubting myself you know and i think it's so normal to doubt yourself it's so normal to not know exactly where your future is going but at the same time i think it's so important to stick to what you love because at the end of the day i feel like when you love something you do put your whole heart i feel like your passion everything just like shines through so you're not just doing it because it's a job do you know what i mean and i feel like eventually that pays off because i don't know like it doesn't even have to be a youtube thing i just think it could be in any industry like when you're when you give it your all 
I think eventually it will pay off. You know, I didn't end up taking the job. So I left and I was even more depressed because I'm like, great, I don't want to do this. But at the same time, I don't know what to do. I did YouTube for about two years before I got any campaigns, before I got any recognition from a brand. So it didn't happen overnight for me. It was I wasn't one of those like channels that blew up overnight. I also was learning, I think. I was trying to learn how to be on camera. I was kind of self-conscious. I was not myself. I, I would never talk like, like I would never open up like this on camera. It was very just professional doing my makeup and talking about the technique tips tricks hacks that kind of thing and if you guys have been with me for a while i'm sure you have seen the evolution and my personality kind of just like come through and you know me so much better now than you did before because i would hide all of this and then now that i think about it i'm like i kind of wish that i was more open back then and i could just talk about these struggles because i'm sure so many people could relate okay if you saw what a dork he's right there you should always do what you want, like truly truly want to do and i think that will lead to other things so you might not end up doing just like me you know like i started doing makeup and i was a professional makeup artist doing bridal and all of that stuff but that wasn't my path like this is my path and starting my cosmetics brand was my path but that led me to this point you know what i mean and if i shut it down like i was thinking at the time being super insecure and listening to other people and trying to find another job i would never be here you know what i mean and so that's why i'm such a strong believer in following your heart and doing exactly what your heart wants you to do at that mo moment even though you might see your friends making more money than you you might feel like you're not making as much money but i feel like if you're fulfilled and you're happy that's all that matters like one of the other things that I did was I downgraded my car at the time because I thought, you know what? Yes, I am going to do what makes me happy because at the end of the day, like I don't want to be driving this like fancy car and have all these fancy clothes if I'm going to be unhappy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I could be making a lot more money doing insurance, but I'm going to be miserable eight hours a day i decided to downgrade I, I had a bmw at the time i don't know i could afford at the time because again i had so many jobs and stuff like that but i was like you know what i don't even want to drive this car and i actually got into an accident and it was almost like a sign you know my car was completely totaled um and i thought and i was like i'm not getting another bmw i'm not getting another fancy car i'm getting a modest car i ended up getting a mini cooper which was like the best decision ever because it was one of my favorite cars to, to ever have i was so happy so happy at the time i was doing a bunch of free work to build my portfolio and the way i would do it is instagram was kind of new so what i would do is look on facebook and find photographers and message them i love your work and i'd love to work with you and let me tell you, most of the photographers that I messaged were like, sure, that sounds great. I got a website and I put all of my work on my website and I basically put myself out there and like put my work out into the universe. I just shared, shared, shared. I wasn't afraid. I wasn't insecure. I wasn't, maybe I had my insecurities, but I just was, I just didn't care at the time that, oh, if someone's going to think like, what are you doing with your life? And sure, I got those comments from people. They were like, what are you doing with your life? Like, why are you? making youtube videos you know like why are you putting yourself out there like that but i just didn't care this is what i wanted to do yeah i've made some mistakes yes i wish that i was more consistent with youtube it wasn't my full-time job you know what i mean whereas now i'm so blessed to say that i have all this time and all of these opportunities that i can just make this a priority and invest back into it and now i get to live my dream and actually make money and have a successful career and have my own line and i have all these other dreams and goals that i'm working towards and working really hard to so the the girl that dm'd me of course i had struggles i didn't just wake up one day and was like traveling the world with makeup brands like i worked my butt off for a very very long time and i struggled and i didn't hang out with my friends and i lost friends and all of these things happened but at the end of the day i was truly happy deep down because i was doing what i loved i was in my world doing makeup tutorials editing doing bridal work i was just so happy doing what i loved i 
highly encourage you guys all to do the same if you have a family it's completely different but i was living with my parents at the time i didn't have rent and you know everything was just so much easier for me i, I don't know your situation but i would analyze your situation and if you're able to do that just to make yourself happier on a ow <laughs> on a daily basis then you should do just that how was it cold Remember the time when you text me and you were like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm at a job interview. And you were like, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing going on job interviews <laughs> when you got something you're so passionate about and good at? Yeah, you're already like makeup artist, insurance broker. I was like doing everything, seriously. Part-time girlfriend. You would drive from San Diego to LA on weekends when I had to work basically like eight hours a day. Yeah. And he would just sit in the hotel room and wait until I was done with work. And then by the time I was done with work, I was so exhausted. I was more like chilling by the pool at the hotel room. Well, waiting for you to... yeah, I'm not saying like you were miserable in your hotel room, but like you were just, you know, chilling and waiting for me. And by the time I was done with work, I was so exhausted because I had already been standing for eight hours. And imagine standing on your feet for eight hours and then wanting to go out like that never happens, at least not with me. And I would just go, and he was all relaxed, like, okay, where, where should we go? And I'm like, oh, I just want to stay in bed. <laughs> I do nothing. Yeah, you'd be beat. We'd have dinner, and that's it. We got engaged. Now this is going into a different direction, but we got engaged, and I was, like, planning our wedding, mostly. I mean, you were planning, too, but I was mostly. You were planning it. Yeah. I was just hanging I was just, like, pool. no, you were planning it, too, but I was, like, a little paranoid with it, right? And I was just yeah. more exhausted. So he was like, why don't you take a break from makeup and just do YouTube after the wedding, you can get back to doing makeup. And I was like, that's a great idea. So I made an announcement. I'm so sorry, I'm not taking any more clients. I'll be back after my wedding. Not. And I never went back. I remember the whole glamor email that came through and I was like, I don't know how to like deal with this. And in the beginning I was dealing with it, but it was hard for me to, I guess like do the business side of YouTube and so he was like do you want me to help you with that and I was like sure if you would like to and help lucky me with I that. didn't know what I was doing people are paying money for YouTube it was so new that like we both didn't know what we were doing but he was just like I'll help you with it just forward me the emails I just started helping her with emails and more and more and more and more and but like how you can you give like them one example of like how you would deal with an email because I'm sure this is something a lot of people maybe are trying to do or maybe they can learn something You know like you get an email. What does the email say? How do you reply? They first start by saying we love your channel what you're doing We would love to partner with you to basically pay you to integrate one of our products into your routine Because we see that you like it and you're loving it because you would use a whole bunch of different products Yeah, and right? so so if for example, I keep using milk makeup, right? Milk Makeup sees this and they're like, well, this girl really likes our brand. Let's reach out and maybe work with her. This is just an example. I've never worked with Milk Makeup before. They would reach out and for even like Bare Minerals, if you think about it, like if you go back and watch my videos, I used to use their Complexion Rescue so much. That was my everyday um, tinted moisturizer. And I'm sure the reason why I'm here today is, isn't because you know, they think I'm pretty or anything. It's because I use their products and it's like organic and it fits, right? You're pretty too. <laughs> Thank you. So I think that's when we would get emails like, oh, we saw Sona use the long comb, whatever. We'd love yeah. to like work so with they her. Email, they ask, and then you talk about how it works and how it organically would fit into the content she's already creating. Mm -hmm. And then there's an agreement that you have to sign. And by the way, don't ever sign anything with in perpetuity. Yeah, so he would always like negotiate with the brand. Bottom line, YouTube started growing. Sona started climbing out of that hole she was in that she <laughs> felt like she didn't know what she was doing in her life. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video because he needs to We show gotta him. go. Yeah, we, we really If I do. could show you this room and what Sona did to it in <laughs> one day, and we gotta go and like, we gotta check out. In yeah, two we gotta hours. check out in two hours. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I got to get ready i came outside to get a selfie or something for the thumbnail and it's freezing cold holy smokes i got my cozy sweater on that i just got actually yesterday from Ma mango and then my levi's and my adidas show the shoes lift them lift them and i'm gonna go biking are you <laughs> no. are you really no. <laughs> i'm gonna pretend and take photos for the gram and that's going to happen.